Well today we are going to use two ways to recover our device. Now if it has a screen lock with the forgotten Gmail account. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, first of all we are going to give the device a tour so you can see that it is completely locked. Since our device has a screen lock it also has the forgotten Gmail account. What are we going to do well uh, let's give it a tour. We have to be connected to the Wi-Fi networks to be able to access the Google account uh. This process uh works since uh our device is fully updated and the tools that we are going to use are also fully updated. How are we going to do it uh well we are going to give it here where it says use my Google account. As we were explaining uh these tools that we are going to use uh in some of the cases. If we run it like this normally, our antivirus would block us, what are we going to do? That is why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step so that you can do exactly as we are going to explain to you so that you can be successful in removing the account from your device. Well let's get to what is our PC, let's look for our antivirus. Let's double click on it and what are we going to do? Well. Let's look for the option that says where what a shield is, a little shield that says protection. Against viruses and threats, we're going to click on it then we're going to scroll down. And click where it says manage settings here. This option will only be activated, we're going to deactivate the first one, let's say yes, ready. We deactivate it after having said that what we're going to do now is go. Download the first tool. We're going to use two tools in this video tutorial. Uh, we're going to run the first tool, it would be, let's look for it here. Here it is, we're going to double click on it, then what are we going to do? We're going to click here uh, where it says run with administrator, here we right click. We right click it, we're going to right click it again, and now we're going to explain where you're going to be able to download this tool. This would be the first tool that we're going to use in this video tutorial, and then later. When we're done with this tool, we're going to explain the second tool. We run it as administrator, we say yes. We're going to say yes. We have already executed it, this is the GSM Pride tool. EH, the creator of this tool is GSMEH, and what are we going to do, well. To download this tool what we are going to do is go to our browser and we are going to write as it appears there. With WL, Dale ends in WLL we write. And then this option would appear Android TV. You are going to select the option that says Android TV. And then it would take us to what is our official page. Already being here on our official page we are going to go down to the last options. Here in the last options we will be able to find the option that says apps devisal. That is the option that we are going to use in this video tutorial, we are going to click on it. After we click on it we are going to go down. Methods. Updated. Below we are going to be able to find the first tool by going down it is fully updated. This is the tool that we are going to use in this video tutorial. After having already said that and we have already deactivated what is the antivirus. This tool here gives us what are the drivers. As you can see here we can download the MTK drivers since. In this video we are going to use this device as MTK. We click here to install the driver. After having installed it correctly, what we are going to do is look for our device. Our model is this one, this also works for other devices. But today we are going to explain this model. This would be the first process, what are we going to do here? Well let's locate it well here we have. Ready. 
This would be the first method, now we are going to explain the second method. What are we going to do? We are going to pay for our device, we turn it off, we are going to turn it off. After it is completely off, we are going to count 10 seconds. After those 10 seconds have passed, we are going to connect what is the USB cable and when. We see the charging line, we press it immediately and count 4 seconds and release. That is what we are going to do. Those 10 seconds have passed, we are going to click here. Where it says remove FRP, here it appears waiting for connection. As you can see, we are going to remove it, here it says waiting for connection. Now we are going to do what we were saying, we are going to connect the phone. We connect it, we wait for the little flash to appear. When the little flash appears we press the power button and count 4 seconds. Wait for the little flash to appear. If it is connected no, I do not have the cable connected, we are going to connect. Well, now we are going to try again, so we connect the USB cable. We wait for the little flash to appear, we count 4 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4. We release it and we are going to wait for the PC to beep several times and then this is going to turn green. When it turns green it is because the video tutorial has been successful. But as you can see here our phone. Here our phone was left on. We are going to turn it off, if it turns on. And it turns on, then what you are going to do is count 10 more seconds. And you are going to connect it and you are going to press the button, you are going to do the same process. We are going to wait for the little flash to appear, we press power button. 4 seconds, 1, 2, 3 and 4. We are going to wait for nothing. You see that this process comes out. So what we are going to do is change what is the USB cable. We are going to try again, well we try again, we change the cable. We are going to press, do the same process, we introduce. We get the little ray, we count 4 seconds with the power button, 1, 2, 3, 4 we release to wait to see if this time it is successful. An error occurred when formatting. What we are going to do is close the program then and we are going to run it. Again. We run as administrator and we see that. It does not work so what we are going to do is restart our PC. The same process to select our model and let's go there. What we're going to do uh do the same thing we're going to give it. Here where it says remove FRP we're going to remove we're going to insert the USB cable and press the power button when the logo won. Two, three and four appears, we jump. Nothing, it doesn't come out, it's not coming out, come on, well. This we restart the PC, restart, come back again to try again. We give it where it says remove FRP and we're going to do the same process. We're going to connect what is the USB cable. We're going to wait for the charging logo to appear. And press the power button and count 4 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4 we release and as you can see this. Time yes and the process ended when it appears in green here below it says. Finished successfully now what we are going to do if suddenly this. Charging logo does not appear and nothing comes out what you are going to press the power button. Volume down button several times until it shows you the charging logo. What we are going to do now, we are going to explain what method 2 is. We are going to use another totally different tool. We are going to do the same. We are going to go to the browser and we are going to write what? Our official page is, eh, 
we select this one that says Android DTV and we go to what is the same, the same page. Where it says a PPSDL. We press that and now here below. Right here, we are going to find the second tool, this would be the second tool. That we are going to use today best flash tool, ready, that said. What we are going to do is run it as administrator as well. You give install it will create a shortcut. We are going to explain it correctly. We are going to look for the tool. Here it is, we right click on the tool. We click on run as translator we say. Yes here it will start to say we are going to say next. Next here you are going to leave it. Selected that it is going to create a shortcut on our PC. When the installation begins it creates a shortcut and then the tool is executed. As you can see here it is already finished we are going. To click here it says finish now the tool is going to be given. It would run by itself. You see that suddenly the tool does not run in is deleted it is because you have to correctly deactivate the antivirus. Correctly deactivate the antivirus. We are going to wait for the tool to load correctly and then log in. Here you would see the option to update, but in this case you are going to say no. You are not going to update it, you are going to click here where it says log in. We log in. We are going to wait for it to log in. This would be what this is our tool. As you can see here we have the processors, we have through Qualcomm. In soft here we have the models like Samsung, Xiaomi, Realme, Oppo, Lenovo, Motorola and other brands. In this today what we are going to use is the MediaTek processor only. When we select our MediaT processor here at the bottom we are going to find service. We select service here we are going to select the option that says reset PRP. They are going to leave it like that, it is going to execute. In this process we are not going to use in this second tool. We are not going to use what is the we are not going to sync. We are not going to press the power button. We are only going to insert the USB cable that. The tool would take care of the whole process correctly. Let's connect it. Not only do we connect it we let everything do its process and you get this error here. If you get this error what we're going to do then is restart our device. We're going to restart our device because we have this error here. Well we're not going to restart the PC, let's go. I'm going to leave what is a program called Lelib Elib. SB we're going to run that program as administrator we're going to leave it uh in. The description of the program where it is where they're going to download the program are. The drivers we're also going to leave what this is this little program that is going to help us install correctly what the drivers are we're going to click here. On next next we click on next next we click on install. Then then we click on finish. As the device is still connected. We're going to click here on install, install driver. This is going to open here we're going to be able to find what? Is our driver MTK MediaTek drive MTK here it says MediaTel. You're going to click on install installed correctly let's see. If it appears no longer it appears well. Let's now we're going to do the same process again. Then we'll see if this time if recognize. We are going to disconnect our device, disconnect it. We give it reset FRP again and now we are going. To connect it without touching anything. To see. It seems that this time it is working as you can see. Now it worked here what it is going to do is where it says. Reset S successful R. 
device would be totally EH ready. Here we are not going to press any of the buttons. Automatically it will show you what the charging option is. When it shows you this charging option what we are going to do is disconnect it and now we are going to turn it on to finish what our process is. But EH as I always tell you. Watch the video tutorial until the end because at the end of the video we are going to explain how to correct some errors that we have left when we have already recovered our device, we are going to do to finish it. Press the power button. Volume down button, it does not want to turn on. What we are going to do is wait until it starts. When it starts we are going to do as we had explained. Correct all those errors. How do we know that our device was successfully EH? If our phone and our video tutorial were successful, then we should get the accessibility option. And we get the accessibility option it is because the video tutorial has been successful. Let's see here it is starting EH. In the two tools that we use yes or. Yes if it does not work for you in one it will work for you in the other. But you should get this option which is accessibility as it appears here. Let's focus well there it is. Now we will click here on next, we will click next, we click next. When we get here where the Wi-Fi networks are, we will. Make the process faster, we will skip those Wi-Fi networks. We will click skip, we are here where it says manual. Here we will click on deactivate Wi-Fi networks. Here the recommendation is not to have any SIN car entered. Not to have any SIN car, now we click here on skip. We click on skip to configure it faster. We remove the SIN car, we click on skip, we will wake up, we. Click here where it says do not copy, we click where it says do not copy. Come on, as you can see our device turns black. Those are the errors that we have when we do the FRP process. We are not going to configure anything, we are going to click here. We are going to click skip. A little slow, we click next. We wait a few seconds and here we are, we would be finishing what is our process. We click next, we click finish. We click finish and now what are we going to do when we have completely recovered our phone? Well, what we are going to do, as we had explained from the beginning, our device has errors and what we are going to do is tell us what it is to system, we go to system or about the phone. We click here where it says reset FRP, I say reset. Sorry and we click here where it says factory data reset or reset our device to factory settings and that would be all.